clips could be as important to user brain as this duck shape is to the world's most famous toilet cleaner. And I don't know, it's a, it's a funny image in my mind, but there's a bit of a story there. So I have this, this toilet duck at home and I just realized how much better it is than, than the other toilet cleaner than I used before. And so I just realized it's such a simple product and it's working so well. And I'm fascinated about this, you know, simple products that really get the job done. And user brain is in, in the realm of, of these kind of products. And that's really what we're interested in, interested in. And particularly this new clips feature, it can be this duck shape in a sense that when, you know, I have, I have a few notes here about the toilet duck. When it was invented in 1980 by Walter Düring, he was actually trying to create a more effective and convenient toilet bowl cleaner, which is in a way what we're trying to do here. We're trying to develop a more effective and convenient way of doing user testing because we really believe in it. User testing is just, I don't know, as far as, I, as I'm concerned, the most effective way of actually improving your product and and it's not even our um you know it's not because of us it's not because of user brand it's just user testing is that effective and and we're just trying to give you a very simple tool to get that done and and as like with the with the duck it's like it's known for its efficiency it's saying here in cleaning hard to reach areas and that's the point that i'm trying to make actually very often your reports and presentations won't get hurt by people because they're completely overwhelmed we're going to talk about this in a minute and what you really want to do is reach the people that are hard to reach which is usually the product team developers who are working on it because they are full-time working on a product so they have a very limited attention span and time span and not a lot of time to you know listen to to lengthy reports or anything so like the toilet duck it's designed to better reach under the rim of the toilet bowl and in our case we designed clips in a way that you can actually reach these people in an easy and convenient way to really get work done okay and the thing is uh, that i want to say here user testing is dirty work but clips might just be enough to get the job done and what i'm thinking is with user testing as dirty work there are many aspects to it um, in a sense that you get a lot of feedback that might be negative and you don't want to hear it but it might also be dirty because you have a lot of stakeholders to deal with. And I don't know, there's one stakeholder from marketing wants to ask a question about something that's really not something you want to ask in a user test. So you kind of need to make it work somehow. It's a lot of improvisation going on. But then, especially when it comes to analyzing your results, it's like you, you, you almost feel drowned in, in data. You get, um, you know, maybe hours of, of content that you need to watch and you need to get out the, the good bits and, and somehow get them to the people. And that is a dirty work and clips might just be enough to get the job done as in getting the job done. And as the title suggests in, in this webinar, how clips can make your user testing work. I want to say to make user testing work, you don't need to focus on making the nice presentation or the nice report. That's not the job. The job is not to present your results. It's it's just not it's it's a part of the whole process the job is to actually do the job which is if you find a problem for someone to actually fix the issue it's not to have another meeting where you discuss the issue it's it's not uh, another list of problems we've discovered product teams already have extensive lists of product problems that they need to tackle so it's not it's not about it's not about this at least in my mind user testing works when you actually improve a product Otherwise, it's not really, it's not really doing much for you. The product might be a prototype, so it doesn't have to be a live website. But anyway, so that's what clips uh, are good for. And it might just be enough.